Shalom, Shalom to the Yakim. Shalom. Shalom, Shalom. All glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah. This is the know the King of Prophets. Shalom. Shalom, Shalom to the Yakim. All right, there's a little 20 seconds delay, so we live though. It's all good. Okay, so this is what the Most High, this is what He blessed me, blessed me for. And it's a beautiful thing. I got um, you know, through the Spirit, a brother. He he um, we operate on the Spirit, and the Spirit come and go, like the wind. Like the Scripture says, the Spirit come and go like the wind, right? But a brother came at me and he sent me an email and um, so I want that brother because this is what the Most High select me for is just to feed his sheep. But I not, I'm not in this to, you know, feed these um, entertainment junkies. All right. And that's what I'm going to start doing. If you if you're sincere and you want to. Um, Truly gain wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. If you have any questions, send me an email at priestkingslave at gmail.com. That way I know if you... And let me know about your situation so I know you're just not um, a comment board warrior or a comment board cheerleader, right? If you got a sincere problem, man, uh, hit me up. And through the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that Yahweh has um, bestowed upon me through the trials and tribulations and all the experiences that I've had in my life and through the spirit and power Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, he will give me utterance to help, um, you know, edify you in whatever uh, your situation is. So one thing that I have noticed, a lot of brothers, they do come, I'm going to say the majority, all right, because this is my lot. I've been married... 20 years now okay so i have some experience in this and this is why the most high be sending me brothers like that because i got some experience in this okay it's a mystery my brothers the husbandman has been gone a long time all right and a lot of brothers they come at me they're like oh my wife i just come into this truth a lot of know the kingdom brothers a lot of so-called chicanos and his, uh, his so-called hispanics so-called Mexicano, so-called Native American Indians, okay? And they come to me with these emails, and most emails I do get is about marriage, all right? So, you know, um, through the spirit and power, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, you know, let, let's, let's go in on it. Let's go in on it. And like I said, through my experiences, if you could be edified, then all glory and honor praises unto Yahweh Shah, right? Bashem, Rakakwadash, Bahashem Yahweh. All right. Being Yahweh the Father. The Father and Creator of all things. So let's just get into it. Um, I did a I was brainstorming on this since brother had sent me an email and he says, you know, my wife see a lot of see what the the the, the Southern Kingdom don't understand about so called Chicano women, they're just like Judah women, big mouths and full of pride. Okay, and I've been raised with a lot of them on my mother's side, big mouths and full of pride. Okay, but what brothers got to understand is we the husband men and the husband men been gone a long time. Okay, we the gardeners, man. All right, so I'm never going to tell you to to give your your wife a bill of divorce except for it be for adultery. Okay. But I'm going to let you know right off the bat, a lot of brothers, you are going to lose your family, man. You're going to lose your um, your children because if it gets to the point of divorce, you know, she's, if she's full of pride like that, she's just going to turn the children um, away from you, okay? And uh, I'll get into that later. Let's just go through it bit by bit. Just ride with me, okay? I did a brainstorm on this. I didn't necessarily get all of the scriptures. But let you know. Let's just uh, let's just study it together, man. And if you could ride with me, and if you could vibe with it, cool. That's Isaiah 49. As a matter of fact, let me write these notes down. But the mystery of marriage, okay? The same way, um, 
The same way a man should be towards Yahweh Shah is the same way his wife should be towards him. Let's just get the scriptures. Let's just let the Lord speak, okay? This is Ephesians chapter 5, verse 22. Let's let the Lord speak. My words mean nothing. All glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, Bashem Rakak Dash. Nobody could say it better than the Lord Himself. All right. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 22. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. Okay. And just right there, that opens up a plethora of other precepts and other scriptures. Okay. Wives, submit yourselves unto your husbands as unto the Lord. So we're going to go right from there that the man the man is the image of Yahweh Shah. Okay. What women don't understand because they've been raised here in Babylon the Great. Y'all hear me? Yeah. Y'all hear me? Y'all with me? Shalom. So the man is Yahweh Shah. And this is what women, women with experience in this truth, all right? They've grown to know that when they lay in bed, they lay in next to Yahweh Shah. Let me prove that, okay? Let's go to Romans. Because just within that first precept, we're going to open up some more, right? And this is this is the one I stand on. This is my rock right here, man. I'm going to share my rock with y'all. I'm going to share my foundation with y'all, okay? This is me, man. All right? 8 and 28. Romans 8. Yeah. Cold, cold in here. Akim, so bear with me. If I seem agitated anyway, it's just because I'm kind of cold, all right? So, this is my foundation, man. This is my go to. This is my meat. This is my daily bread, baby, right here. And I'm going to share. I'm going to break bread with y'all, brothers, man. All right? Romans 8 28. Romans 8 and 28. What these women don't understand is when a man comes to the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of this truth, they are sitting next. When the man walks in the room, Yahweh Shah walked in the room. The spirit and power of Yahweh Shah has walked in the room. And he needs to be treated as such. All right? Because the scripture says that the man, the head of the man is Yahweh Shah. All right, but I'm going to prove to you first that the man is the image of Yahweh Shah. All right? And the women don't understand this when they first come in the truth, but it's okay. We're going to have patience with them, brothers, the same way that Yahweh Shah is going to have patience with you. All right? Because it's the same thing. We are the wife to Yahweh Shah, and he is our husband, man. The men are the wife of Yahweh Shah, the men are the church, right? And the bride is being dressed for the groom, the husbandman who is Yahweh Shah. So he have patience with us, brothers. He do have patience with us. So we're going to have patience with our women. There is no divorce unless there is adultery. But don't get me wrong. Being in this truth could lead to that. All right. Because Yahweh Shah did say, I'm coming to separate. He says, I cannot come to bring peace but a sword, right? But let's just stick to this real quick. The man is the image of Yahweh Shah. Okay, uh, Romans 28. Romans 8 and 28. And we know that all things work together for the good to them that love God. And what is loving God? Loving God is following His commandments. If you really love Him, 
See that word love here in Babylon the Great? It's thrown around, man. It's used. Love is an action, okay? Most people say, I love you, I love you, I love you, but they never prove it, right? But love, if you love God, then you're going to prove it, okay? And if she loves you, she's going to prove it too, all right? One way or the other, if she don't love you, she's going to prove that too, all right? But the, like, let me just get into my sword. Matthew 10, I'm just going to read it straight out my sword. We're just going to go with the flow, all right? 10 and 34. Matthew 10 and 34. The, the Lord says, Think not that I come to send peace on earth. <coughs> Salakia. I come not to send peace but a sword. It's not a, 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 a threading needle, right? It's not a sewing machine. It's a sword, right? To divide asunder, man. All right. The Lord said, I come not to uh, bring peace on earth. I come to send, I, I come not to send peace, but a sword. For I'm come to set a man at variance against his father and, a, uh, and the daughter against her mother and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a man's foes shall be they of his own household. All right. This is how it starts off. When you first come into the truth, your first battles are going to begin in your own living room, man. All right. And that's the truth. When you first, the first year or two you come into this truth, your battles are happening in your own living room, man. Huh? Okay, because it says right here, and you, that's how you know Yahweh Shah is in the mix, though. All right? That's how you know he's in the room. Because a man's trying to set his household in order, man. Huh? He says, I'm back. With the spirit and power you help Hashem Yahushua. And as for my house, we going to serve the Lord. But we lead by example, brothers. Okay? Because you could go in, you know, almighty like that, this and that. But don't get it twisted. These demons, these demons, these legions of demons that have been dwelling in your house for all these years and you're not even knowing it. You're going to have to bang with all of them, all right? But that's the whole purpose of a husband, man. He, he finds his, he come back to his garden, right? After it's been a deck, lifetimes, generations, thousands of years since we've been following these commandments, okay? He come back to his garden. It's full of rocks. It's full of uh, scorpions. It's full of rattlesnakes. It's full of other poisonous snakes. It's full of tarantulas. It's full of uh, war ants. Big red war ants, right? It's full of all these things. And there's big roots that had grown down into the ground, man. And you're going to have to dig them up and chop at them roots, brother. You got to till that ground again. But we'll get into that. Okay. He said, I come not to bring peace but a sword. Matthew 10 and 35. For I am come to set a man at, very against, at variance against his father. And a daughter against her mother. And the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Right? And you're even going to bang with your own in-laws, man. They're even going to come at you too. All right. So let's go back to... Romans 8 and 28. Romans 8 and 28. And we know that all things work together, but this is all the work happening. And if it does start, you know, it starts getting heated in that, that's just Yahweh turning up the heat to, to uh, purify his fine, fine gold. All right, that fine gold. And it takes heat. It takes a lot of heat to get fine gold and burn out the impurities. This is that heat, brothers. The conflict is the heat, man. Okay? 28. And we know that all things work together for the good to them that love God. That means following his commandments. And But the thing is, is that these Catholics and Christians been just taught to throw that around. Right? Love with no proof. Right? All things work together for good to them that love God. To them who are called... Who are the called, okay? Who are the called? To them, who are the called, okay? 
you just coming into this truth, that makes you a very special person, man. Okay, and I'm going to show you why. Who are the called according to his purpose? That means if you've been called and you heard uh, uh, the voice of truth, Yahweh Shah's voice, his spirit, the spirit of truth, and the sheep know his voice, right? That means you're a very special person, right? So believe that. 29. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son. To be conformed to the image of his son. My brother, you are being conformed to the image of Yahweh Shah. So when the man walked in the room, Yahweh Shah just walked in the room. Okay? Back to Ephesians. Back to Ephesians. Ephesians 5 and 22. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. Because that is the Lord, man. You dealing with the Lord now. And how lucky could you be to lay next to Yahweh Shah every night, man. Because Yahweh Shah is the man's head, right? He He's, he's going to be the one to guide the tribe, man. He is the jefe, okay? He is the jefito. He is the chief, man. Yahweh is not dealing with the woman the same way he is dealing with the man. The Lord will send wisdom, knowledge, understanding, power of the spirit to the man's head. He will download it into the man's head. He will download it like he was a, a, a Neo in the Matrix learning Kung Fu. Boom. Just like that. All right. So that's how the Yahweh, the most high creator of heaven and earth, deal with the man. But he don't deal with the woman like that. He don't deal with the woman like that. All right. So Ephesians 5 and 22. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife. And if you don't have a head, then you a chicken without your head. Right? Like a chicken running around with its head cut off. It'll be running into gates and, and running into barbed wire. Running into tree stumps. And then bounce off of that tree stump and go run into a rock. You ever seen a chicken get its head cut off? Twenty-three. For the husband is the head of the wife. We have a lot of prideful women out here, but brothers, I'm telling you, be patient, all right? Be patient with your woman the same way that Yahweh Shah is patient with you, okay? That's that's what I've learned in all my years, brothers, okay? That we are the husband men. You're going to have to pull some boulders out. You're going to have to get that pick pickaxe of the word, and we're going to get into that. Be cleansed by the word just the same way you were cleansed by the word. But see, Yahweh Shah is the one that taught you the word. He's the one that came to you, gave you the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the word. But the woman don't have it like that. She needs her husband to break it down to her the same way Yahweh Shah had installed it into your brain. Break it down, right? And just by being the example, <clears throat> you know, if she loves you, she's going to follow you, man. But if she loves the world, she's going to go after the world and bring your children too. All right? Wives. So, you know, that that's pretty much the bottom line. You know what I mean? And that's the truth. And some brothers can't handle that, you know? My brother Job Ishakar, he, um, in my mind, he's still letting his wife rule the house because he ain't never been back out to camp because she didn't want him to come to camp. But that's a whole nother story. Let me read the word. Ephesians 5 and 22. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. All glory, honor, and praise, Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shah. 
because there's only destruction, man. It's either it's either um, salvation or destruction. Yahweh, he don't play, right? The problem with our people as being Chicanos or raised Catholic is that we were taught you could do anything you want in the Catholic Church. We This was burned into our brain. That picture of Cesar Borgia, he's just the party time God. Everything's all good. Right? Lo, YOLO, or whatever they call it. But this has been burned into our head. Catholicism and, and, and plantation Christianity. Right? 23. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church. And he is the savior of the body. So if the man is not guiding the, 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 the family, the tribe, there's just destruction coming. If the woman is in charge of the household, she's always going to lean towards emotions and um, chemical reactions in the body. All right? And not know. Emotions are chemical reactions in the body. All right? And a logical man could receive that. And understand that, right? 23, for the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to take the man to be in charge to uh, guide you out of this, this maze of Babylon. 24, therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. In everything, in everything, even when he, even when she thinks he's wrong, he's right, all right, because he's the one that's going to have to ultimately deal with the repercussions of his decision, because the heat is on the man, all right, the spiritual temperature of the household is charged to the man, the spiritual temp temperature of the household is charged to the man, okay, 22, let's see. 24, therefore, as the church, Salakia, therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. All right? So, a woman don't understand that when she's dealing with her husband, she's de dealing with Yahweh Shai. And that's, that's like... One of the, the hardest learning uh, processes of a woman coming into this truth. Because a woman wants to be equal to the man, but they're not equal to the man. Because Yahweh, the creator and programmer of the, all this heaven and earth, didn't make it that way. No matter, but the hardest thing, and if you're chosen, you'll get through it. But if you're not, you're just going to be destroyed. And that's just the harsh truth of it, man. Or she's going to be destroyed by herself like Lot's wife, you know. 24. Therefore, as much the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. So you got to be patient with them, you know. One year, don't, don't, don't start thinking divorce in this truth right away, you know. You got to be patient, man. <laughs> And like I said, if they love you, they'll follow you. But the same way Yahweh Shah was patient with you for all these years, you got to be patient with her. Except for adultery. All right? Except for adultery. That's immediate. Immediate clause for a, 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 a certificate of divorce. Otherwise, even if she is asking you for a divorce, no. You belong to me. You're my property. And I ain't signing over my title. Okay, because as soon as you sign those divorce papers, you're signing over your title to her. Okay, because a woman is the property of the man. All right, and not only only a very select women are going to um, be okay with that. Okay, only select few, not many at all. Twenty-five husbands love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave Himself for it, that He might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word, just like He did you. You got this quick. Women don't get it that quick, man. They need their man to break it down to them. 
over and over and over again, man. And that's how you you slowly pulling out the roots, man. You're pulling up these weeds, man. You're going to have to deal with a lot of insecurities, too. That's like finding one of those big trunk roots under the ground. You know what I'm saying? Your wife is your garden, man. All right? Your wife is your garden, and your children are the fruit. Okay? The wife is the garden when the man, when the husband, man, is putting in the work. Because this ministry starts in your own home, brothers. This ministry starts with your own home. Facebook's going to be one of your greatest challenges too, okay? This whole system here in Babylon the Great is set up uh, to make woman the woman the Lord, right? That's the whole, and even men are acting like women, you know? And that's the spirit here of Jezebel that rules over Babylon the Great, man. Right? And it's a hard thing to fight. But through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh, if you got faith, brother, of a mustard seed, you could do it. You could save your family. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh, Because we are weak, man. But have faith in that spirit, bro. Because if it happened to me, it could happen to you. All glory, honor, praise Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh, Let's get that again. 26, that he might sanctify and cleanse it. Cleanse what? Your wife. His wife is the church. Yahweh's wife is you. And he was patient with you. Right? He didn't just cut you off. Just be lucky. <laughs> 26, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of the word. Washing of water by the word. So we're just going to peel these pages, right? Peel these pages. Be patient. And, and teach, and teach your family. Read the crack that Bible open and read it out loud, man. Have the family sit around the table at breakfast. Let's crack this open and get some of this wisdom, right? Every Sabbath, you're gonna have to crack this open and be your Howard shot in your own home. And all you gotta do is read this, read the, the words that the, the most high creator of heaven and earth left for us and they're right here in this Bible, man. It's an amazing thing. So, 26 again, that he might sanctify and cleanse your wife, just like Yahweh Shah cleansed you, that he might sanctify it and cleanse it with the washing, the washing, the washing of water by the word, okay? So, marriage is the mystery. Marriage is the mystery. Let's just keep going, 27. That he might present it to himself as a glorious church. That's a beautiful thing. Present it to himself as a glorious church. Yeah, that's a beautiful thing. So you could present yourself, your wife. After you've put in the work to take out, after you, you know, you went in there and you seeked out and killed all the scorpions in there, you know what I'm saying? Pushing away all the predators, all the little, uh, uh, little big mouth uh, hood rats kind of getting, get in there and, and whisper, whisper in the ear of your garden, you know? Facebook's got to go, okay? Because what I know about a Chicano family Most, this is a sad thing to say, but most of them are going to be destroyed, man. Two thirds, you know. But a brother that's actually had lifted his, lifted up his head out the miry, the miry clay. You're one in a, one in a, one in hundred million, bro. One in a hundred million. Because there's only going to be 144,000 men that are saved in their families. There's 9 billion people on the earth right now. 144,000 men are far and few in between. So if you got this truth, man, just be lucky, you know. Anyway, 27, that he might present it to himself as a glorious church. Not having, so first you got to wash it and clean it, right? By the... The washing of the word that he might sanctify his church or that he might sanctify his wife and cleanse it with the washing of the word by the, the washing of water by the word. OK, that he might present it to himself as a glorious church, not having spot 
or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. And that's what the washing of the word will do to a man's wife. That's what the washing of the word did to Yahweh Shah's wife, which is you, the man, the man of the house. And now he got to conduct the same, the same process on his household and his wife. All right. 28. So ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. He that loveth his, his wife loveth himself. All right. Because you have children involved, you know, and the worst thing that can happen to a child is that they get taken away from their daddy. But the pride of the woman here in Babylon the Great, they don't care. They'll do that, you know, just to hurt the man. They'll do it just to hurt the man. Anyway, so let's see. What else did I want to get on that? I wanted the mystery. Yes, sir, right here. Let's keep reading. He loveth himself, 29. For no man ever yet hated his own flesh, but nourished it and cherished it, even as the Lord, the church. All right, so that means don't give up on her, man. For we are members of his holy body, of his flesh, and of his bone. For this cause, and just that, that's the same thing that Adam said, this is flesh of my flesh, and she's bone of my bone, right? Your wife, right? And that's your, your children, all right? You become one body, you know what I'm saying? Two come together and make one body. That's when they make, make children. Because your, your, your genes and her genes are mixed together, right? 30, for we are the members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bone. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother. And this goes for women too. And this is another thing that these females out here are not going to be willing to do. Is let go to their wicked ass family. Their wicked ass mama or their wicked ass daddy. Right? Because odds are is they, they ain't married. Those two are no, uh, um, how do you say, role model. They divorced. Living it up still. You know what I mean? Trying to get it in still. 65 years old or whatnot. Because that's all they got. They didn't know. They they, they was never taught that they was, should, should retain wisdom. They was only taught to um, relish their flesh and their body and how they looked. And that goes out the window, right? The way a woman and a man looks as they get older. But that mentality never leaves them. So they be walking around looking like a burnt turkey. A, a, a dehydrated turkey. You know, still thinking they fine with no wisdom. All right, 31. And you don't want that to happen. That's what's going to exactly happen to a woman that don't have a head. That's all that's going to happen to her, man. She's going to end up just walking around like that uh, dehydrated ass turkey. Thanksgiving old ass turkey. Still trying to get it in at the club. You know, trying to get the dust knocked off. 31. For this car shall a man... Leave his father and his mother, and shall be joined unto his wife, and thy, and thy two shall become one flesh when you have children. But if you ain't done, left your mother and your father, and they're still on your business, giving you, um, not advice, but making suggestions, you know, that, that, that the mother is still the head of the, and this happens a lot with our, our Chicana women, man. The mother's still in the, in the, in the daughter's ear, or the sister. And they're in the world. And just like any other gossiping. Gossiping female. In your wife's ear. What? Telling, telling. Even though the mom, mom's divorced. Giving advice to the daughter of how she should be uh, um, conducting her marriage. Right? For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and shall be joined unto his wife. And they shall, and the two shall be, be one flesh. 32. This is a great mystery, but I speak it concerning Christ and the church. So that's the mystery of all this. In the same way the woman is acting to this day with her man, all full of pride and pumped up and, and loud mouth, is the same way the whole nation of Yasha Allah is, is towards Yahushua, man. So the, the, the um, theme of this week from Sabbath to Sabbath, you know, in my house we kind of have a theme, you know what I'm saying? So the thing that I've been teaching my, my, my family this week is that 
obedience come before understanding all right the woman's never gonna understand so don't don't immediately try to force your family into this if they're, unless they're willing to accept it but but be the example I first started off like you know you know uh, Mexic uh, Chicano families we love green chili man you know what I'm saying we love us some green chili and the the chicharrones right and the spirit came on me I'm like man I I ain't eating that garbage no more. I'm not eating pork, right? Because rehearsing the righteous acts is a practice. The righteous acts is um, the commandments. And we got to rehearse them. You don't have to take them, uh, load them all up at one time. Because they are a work, right? First, you know, start off by not eating the chicharrones and no pork. You sit down to uh, your family's dinner or whatever. No pork. I'm not eating no pork, right? And you start cleansing the temple that way. The Holy Spirit could dwell there. All glory on and praise the Al-Bashem al -Shai. So the mystery is marriage. Let me get that one again. Because this one here. This one. This one right here. This this is for all you brothers. All you brothers that are married, man. Okay. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 32. This is a great mystery. And he just got talking about husbands and wives, right? And how how the, the, the woman should treat her husband as if she was treating Yahweh Shai. Okay? Because the woman represents the nation of Yasha Alam, man. The woman represents the nation of Israel. The woman represents the 12 tribes. And she's the wilderness right now because the husbandman has left. The, far, the farmer has left. The gardener has left his garden. And he's not there tilling it no more. Every season you got you to gotta prep it. You got to till it somehow. Right? By the washing of the word. Okay? And this is the mystery. Plain and simple. Ephesians 5 and 32. This is a great mystery. But I speak concerning Christ in the church. Because... The man of the hut, the, the man of the house is Christ, and his wife and children are the church. It's a microcosm, microcosm, right? A microcosmos. You know, the the obedience. But the man, if he becomes, the more you become obedient to your Lord and Master, to your husband, men, to your husband who is Yahweh Shah, you become obedient to him. It all just falls into line. So don't wait for them to get into line. You get into line first. If she ain't sewing your uh, fringes on yet, put your own fringes on, brother. Right? And if they're not following you in Sabbath, whatever. Break out the Bible on your Sabbath and have your children sit down. Because I hope your children respect you. Unless she has let them some, some other way. Because here in Babylon the Great, it's actually common for the man to be treated either like a child or with uh, disdain or disrespect or contempt or he's less than the man's just a weakling here in Babylon the Great it's been programmed to men since they're you know at least for the millennials I could say but just be the example brother and keep riding with it because there is no divorce but this could actually lead to that. The truth can actually lead to that. Oh, Shalom. Shalom. All right. So now what I want to get, I want to go into how the woman is actually She's the wilderness, okay? When the Bible speaks about the woman, the Bible is actually talking about, no, Salakia. When the Bible speaks about the land, the Bible is actually speaking about the women, okay? Because a woman is a possession, like a, a piece of land, okay? Let me get that in Revelation. the wilderness and uh, a good a good property a good portion 
And I'll end it with those two scriptures, right? So let's get how this hap how this is happening here in America. Revelation. Revelation. Because here in Babylon the Great, the spirit of Jezebel is king, man. Okay? Revelation 12 and 12, I think it is. Okay, right here, Revelation 12 and 14. And to the woman who were given two wings of a great eagle. Right? She got her wings. She was loosed. Like, she's at all um, adventure here in America, man. And the, uh, the eagle represents America, right? And the woman were given two wings of a great eagle. She, she was, like, loosed. She was free to do whatever she want here in Babylon the Great, that she might fly into the wilderness. And the wilderness is our mentality, our impoverished mentality of Chicanos, of blacks and Native Americans. The wilderness is how our mental state, man, our spiritual state, our, our wild women. You ever met some wild Apache women that like to drink? That's the wilderness, baby, all right? There's a saying in... um. The Native American community, they say native love, the consistency of native love is a black eye and a hickey. That's native love, all right? That's wildness, that's the wilderness because the woman was given two wings of freedom here in Babylon the Great where the, the man is not the ruler of the house no more. She is, and whatever she say, go because the... um. You know, the system is all for her. The system, uh, uh, Esau's system, legal system, is always going to side with the woman here. They're even going to give her a Section 8 as long as there's no man in the house, right? So she don't have to depend on the man to go uh, 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 sweat by the sweat of his brow, go bring home the bread and butter. She got Section 8 coming in. She got EBT coming in. She got SNAP coming in. She got um, Wicca or whatever it's called. You know, she got, you know, um, what else is it? Welfare coming in every month as long as she don't have the man in the household. But the wilderness is going to teach the children to be wild. Because there's no gardener, there's no husband men in the house. And this is all by device, man. This is divisive. This is a device of our enemy, what he's done. He's like, if we could take the 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 chief out of the teepee, the whole tribe's gonna fall apart. Because the man is the chief of his his little his little tribe, which is his family, okay? And the woman and to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness, that she might, you know, be wild, buck wild. She might, you know, be dropping it like it's hot. She might be, you know, twerking. That's wilderness, man. Her mental state is impoverished. That's wilderness. That's where the weeds grow. That's where the scorpions are. That's where the tarantulas are. That's where the deep roots get into get on all to the soil. That's where the sand go, right? The thorns and thistles, that's the wilderness, man. And it's going to take a good husband, a good husbandman, a good gardener that is led by the spirit and power of Yahweh to till that earth again. Till that earth again, brothers. It's going to take some work, you know. But through the spirit and power of Yahweh Yahweh you'll have a beautiful garden. To present to yourself, right? Without spot or wrinkle, okay? 14 again. And to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness and to her place where she is nourished. So she's given that EBT. She's given that um, welfare. She's given that section eight. She was she is nourished for a time and time and time and a, and a half a time from the face of the serpent. 
on the face of Esau. All right. Okay, so that's the wilderness. Okay, and I'm going to prove to you again that um, the woman is also uh, a land, right? She's the land. She's a good portion. <sighs> Let me get that in my apocrypha. And I'm going to break it down some more, man. This is barely... I haven't even scratched the surface. 26. She's a good portion. She's like a property, Proverbs 31. The woman is, when the Bible speaks about land, the land is being polluted. Don't mingle the seed, right? All that the, all that kind of talk. It's talking about our women, man. Because our women are the one, whatever, the, whatever kind of um, soil that, that our children are raised in is how they're going to turn out, okay? Let's get Proverbs 31. Proverbs 31. Let's get 10. See, and the thing, the problem is, is that you know, when we in the world, you know, our, our, our daddies didn't teach us what kind of woman to be looking for. You know, we just like any other man. You know, looking, you know what I'm saying, like, women are taught to show their their bodies to, to uh, attract attention. But a man that's coming into this truth is attracted to a humble soil now. That he that ain't gonna be hard to um, to till, right? Cause man don't want a hard work, you know. But us, but us older ones that come into this truth, brothers that are older, y'all have already got your um, your little clubber, you know, your little disco fever bunny. That's probably what you was attracted to. Right? But the woman is a soil, right? She's either hard, like the crust is hard, and it's going to take a lot of work to get through that layer down into the soft soil, but you're still going to have to dig out rocks and pebbles and weeds, and you're going you're gonna to fight rattlesnakes, which are insecurities, right? Deep-rooted stuff sometimes, because we've been hurt as a people, right? Blacks, Hispanics, and Native American people been hurt as a people. That's why you should have pity on each other, right? Because those are things that had happened to you that you've only shared with your wife. And there's things, and that's what you got to stand on is that trust, right? And there's things that had happened to your wife in her lifetime that she's only shared with you. There are things and secrets about each other that you know that nobody else knows, right? And that's the trust you got to rely on to... Um, Keep uh, keep your uh, marriage alive, man. Let's get Proverbs thirty-one to ten. Who can find a virtuous woman? Her price is far above rubies. Let the heart of her husband, the heart of her husband, doeth safely trust in her, so that he shall have no need of spoil. So you women, if you're doing your job. Right, you, if you have your man satisfied, he has no need for spoil. He don't need to be go searching for something else. If you're keeping him happy at home, keeping his stomach happy, keeping, you know, 
keeping um, him happy sexually, right? That way he don't have to look at pornography, right? Find out what your husband like, you know what I mean? And he ain't got to be looking at other women if he's satisfied, you know? Because a man, once he uh, uh, matures in this truth, his only love is wisdom, right? And serving Yahweh Shah, and then you serving him, everything just falls into line. 11. The heart of her husband do doeth safely trust in her, so that he shall have no need of spoil. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. She seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands. So as much work as the man is putting into this, this truth, you know, after a while, if she love him, she's going to follow him and she's going to start putting on the fringes on all their clothes, making sure they're in the law, getting prepared for the Sabbaths. She's going to be a pillar of rest, as my, my pillar of rest says. She's going to be a pillar. She want to be a pillar of rest and not a pillar of stress. All glory, honor, praises to Yah, Bashem, Yah, Shah. She making sure that that your um your clothes are not uh, mixed fibers. She seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands. She's putting on fringes on your baby's clothes, right? She is like a merchant. She, she's like the merchant ships. She bring forth her food from afar because she makes sure that everything that's going in her family's mouth, she's checking the ingredients and making sure it's not made with no pork or some other harmful harmful chemicals right 15 she riseth also while it is yet night and giveth meat to her household and a portion to her handmaids so she's running the house the house is the woman's domain right the woman's work is inside the house when everything's in order right and the man's man needs to go home and bring home the bread and butter he needs to go sweat and toil because that's his curse he need to go work for what he bring home to feed his family, right? 16. She considereth a field and buyeth it. With the fruit of her hands, she planteth a vineyard. She girdeth her loins with strength and strengthened her arms. She perceiveth that her merchandise is good. Her candle goeth not out by night. And this is a woman that's been washed, washed in the word. Right, and this is also a man, according to Yahweh Shah. This is how a man should be towards Yahweh Shah. Okay. She layeth her hands to the spindle, and her hand hands hold the distaff. She stretched she stretched out her hand to the poor. Yea, she she reaches for her hands to the need. She reaches forth her hands to the needy. I need to find that part where uh, it says that she's a a possession. Let me find it. A good possession. When a man findeth a good possession. Which one is that? He planted with his own seed, right? Yeah, that's in Sarak. To lock you. Bear with me, fam. Let me just find it. And I'll end it with this here. Oh, when a man findeth the wife, yeah, he findeth the good possession, like a piece of land, right? Proverbs 18 and 22. Yeah. He findeth the good possession. Seed, um, 
having confidence in his stock. Let me find it. to look that one up for y'all man let's just go back and end it with um, I'll get that one for you let me take a note because this is just barely the ter first two notes that I've wrote on this uh, topic so this is going to be a multi-part um, lesson I confidence in his stock Finded him a good possession. I can't. I'm like not, not ready to give up on that. Find it a good possession. Yeah, there it is. Lord, I lay. All glory on the praise of Yahweh Shem Al Shai. See, that's the Holy Spirit. You know what I'm saying? That's how. That's how the uh, 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 a word a uh, workman he uh, divided the word you know that he not be ashamed because I know what I'm talking about but you know what I'm saying uh, we got to work through this word just like it's a work you know what I'm saying all right let me get it for you Ecclesiastes 36 and 24 now I end it with this 36 and 24. Ecclesiastic cuss. Okay. Ecclesiastic cuss. Sirach 36. So, don't have the 1611. Alright, Sirach chapter 1611. And this goes to prove again that, um, the woman is a, uh, the Bible's referring to her as a, um, as the land, right? He that getteth a wife begineth a possess begetteth a possession, a help like unto himself, and a pillar of rest. Alright, so a possession is like a piece of land, right? Alright, just to bring it home. We're gonna end it with the uh, revelation. Because the woman is the wilderness, which is a piece of land, right? I'm going to get some more scriptures on that, backing that up, that she's a piece of land. The promised land. We'll just go back to that one for now, Revelation 12. Fourteen. 
All right. Revelation 12 and 14. And to the woman, we're given two wings of a great eagle. That's why all our women, you know, be buck wild with big mouths, right? That she might fly into the wilderness, and the wilderness is without, you know, morality and a moral compass into her place where she is nourished for a time and times and a half a time from the face of the serpent all right so we're gonna have to be patient with our women brothers and um this is just part one i hope it was edifying i'm gonna go into it some more tomorrow all glory on the praises to yahweh shem yahweh shah shalom